What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, I'm going to be teaching you guys about how to build a detail page in ASP.NET NVC. And detail pages are, they sound innocuous. They sound like they're not important, but detail pages in any web app are going to be incredibly important. And they're so common. If you think about whenever you go to Instagram or whenever you go to a social media profile, whenever you go to somebody's profile and you click to see their profile, that is a detail page. A list page would be almost like your feed, um, but a detail page is when you click on detail and you go and you can see more detail about whichever profile that you are looking at. So. That's going to be the same functionality. And a crazy thing about web development is you begin to notice that all of these um, apps or the, yeah, all of these desktop apps, they seem to have the same, um, same layout and they all have this detail page. So very important to learn what a detail page is. But uh, first thing in order to create a detail page, all you go to, all you do is you go into here, your I action results, and we're going to just say detail and we're going to go down here and because this is a detail page we're going to pass in an int id you could come up here and you could uh do http get and do um, id like uh, or some, something like that but in this case we don't have to because this is already laid out for us in our map controller route so whenever you have this you can get away with just having this at the this convention. It's called a conventional route. So you have the home controller, you have the index, and you have the ID, home index ID. And if you go here, you can see the exact same um, layout. You have home, you have the or you have the index, and then you have the ID. So home index ID. And that is going to be the actual layout that um, the URL is going to have as well too. So we go in here, we're, we're, because we're returning a detail, remember, notice this about detail pages. Whenever you're doing a detail page, you're not doing a list. Um, so with a scroll, with a feed-based web page or like a list-based web page, you're going to get a list of clubs, but because this is a detail page, we're only going to have one. So we're gonna go uh, clubs, then we're gonna go first or default, and we're going to go ahead and pass in that ID. So watch what happens here. Remember, this clubs right here means we're going to go get the whole entire table for clubs, and then this means we are going to get the first one or we are going to de default. And Look how kind of cool and elegant that is. It's going to pass in that uh, ID and I'll just kind of show you. Let me just show you here so I don't, I think a, a visual representation is gonna do a lot better than just kind of talking about it. So we'll go ahead, we'll go ahead, boot this up and we'll see. So essentially with that controller that we just made, remember with the detail and the int and the ID, here is how it's going to look. So it'll be club and then it'll be detail and then it's going to have the one that we pass into it. So this is the ID. This is the, I'll just kind of bring it down here. So this is what goes here. This is what goes here. And this is what goes here. And we go ahead and we click it. And because we don't have that detail, it works, but we don't have that detail page. So we need to go ahead and we need to create the detail page. So we go here, go view, we're gonna go empty view. We're just gonna go ahead, toss in that detail. So we go here and I've actually already got a JS fiddle with a nice little um, simple web page, and I'll leave that down in the description below, but I'm just gonna go ahead, copy and paste this whole entire thing, toss it into here. Then I'm going to go up here, and remember we always want to hook up our model. So we're gonna hook up our model, and our model is just going to be one club. Then we will go to back to our club controller and make sure that we've got it passed in. And let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Hopefully this looks good. 
So we're going to go over. I don't know why it keeps closing out like that. So we're going to go over. Please work. Then we're going to go ahead and toss in our one. Oh, we forgot detail. So we'll go detail. Then we'll go one. And we have a nice little secondary web page. It looks pretty good too. Wow. Pretty surprised how that turned out. So we'll go in here and we will first hook up all of the data. So we'll go in here and we'll go model dot title. I'm going to go in here. At model dot description. And this one, we have the location, so we can go in here. Go model dot. Let's see. Actually, let's go ahead and put our image here. So at model dot image. So model dot address dot city. At model dot address dot state at model dot address and let's just see what other types of data that we could possibly po populate this with. Uh, we can do the club category, and I think that that is pretty much for all of our data. We could go back and add some data, but like I said, this is just a nice little MVP. So we're just trying to see, you know, what we can come up with. So we'll go club, detail, and I intentionally did this. So you're going to come in to this error a lot in your programming career and what is happening is this. This is very common, so make sure you pay attention to this. So whenever you go to clubs, like if we check out the model for clubs, please pay attention to this. You, if you don't pay attention to this, this will, this is, this is like a big deal. So if you notice here, we have our club and we're pulling our club data and I'm using the back button. If you're wondering how I'm doing this, I'm using the back button to go back. So we look at our club and we've got our address in there, but for some reason we can't get to this address. What is going on here is that we need to have an include. So we're gonna, this is what's going to bring in that data. So we have a, dot address and we need to bring in include and include basically what include is going to do is it's going to include it but what in navigational properties you have this thing called lazy loading and what lazy loading is is it's an entity frameworks way of conserving data you don't want to bring in those na navigational properties because that's a super expensive database uh, call like there's certain things in databases join joins are one of them if you have so whenever you do an include and i highly recommend that you learn this is you're doing a join and when you do a join like a join is expensive and if you have like a bunch of includes and you're doing this database call like a lot that's going to be a very expensive uh database call so use includes but also recognize like what they're there for and why we actually use them So we go here, go back to the club. It's kind of getting a little repetitive, but for this one, we won't actually have to do it too much. So great. Now we have our we have our location, and that kind of looks like doo-doo, but uh, as we get 
further and further into this and we actually get you know maybe we might add some more data but for right now that should be enough and if you ever uh that with this skeleton you can basically do anything right now we're just worried about getting the data onto the web page and making it look at least presentable and just getting it wired up so we go here and now we need to do this to the race controller and because we've already you know got this one built out We don't have to worry as much so we could literally just take this over here copy and paste this into that one and instead of it being a club it's going to be a race so we're just gonna have one individual race or races because we are getting this from our database and we do that by convention and then we're going to go ahead and toss in the race so once again we don't even need to test it we just need to go in and we just need to create it so let's just go ahead and go into our race folder and create the race and we're going to this one's going to be a good old detail page and we can get away with just copying and pasting all of that into there because we've already built out most of it so instead of that one it's going to be a race remember you always got to hook up your model first otherwise you're not going to get any intellisense and it might not show what you want it to show great and these are pretty much the same so go in here And let's see, got races, got race detail one. And our race detail page works. Great. So the last thing that we need to do is we need to hook up the links up here, or we need to hook up the links so that when we click view, it will actually go to the detail page. Okay, so we're going to go here. Let me see got this written down here okay let me see I'm just pulling it up here so I can paste it please bear with me okay all right good detail let me see here okay this is it right here so we want to go into our actual index page we want to go to our uh, view button and we want to add in the uh, helper tags for this these are called helper tags by the way so we go in here it's equal to club ASP action is equal to detail and then ASP route ID is equal to at item ID. Okay. And hopefully that should work. Something about that did not work, so let's see. We got club. Just going to paste this into here. Let's see. ASP controller 
Okay, this might need to actually be an A. That might be what the issue is here. I think for some reason the helpers have issues with, uh, there we go, okay. So for some reason the helpers have issues, if this is a button, uh, the helpers have a lot of issues with it for some reason. I don't know exactly why that is, but it just kind of is what it is. So we're gonna go in here and then we're going to go to the race page and then we're going to um, hook up our uh, race page detail. And that will give us the ability to quickly just kind of go through um, and click on what we want to. So, wonderful. So now we have our detail pages hooked up and that is the whole entire idea behind a detail page and why they're important. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.